Today, I would like to demonstrate for you chaos. Now, chaos can mean three things. To the ancient Greeks, it was the initial conditions at the start of the universe, so darkness and space. In everyday common discourse, chaos means a disorderly or confused state of affairs. So if anybody's ever been to the big market in Newcastle on a Friday night, that can be pretty chaotic. Or if anybody's ever tried driving a car on Britain's roads after a millimetre of snow, also pretty chaotic. What I want to show you today is mathematical chaos. Now to the mathematician, chaos doesn't mean arbitrary or random motions in systems, nor does it mean that the inputs of the system are completely unrelated to its outputs. What it means is that tiny differences in initial starting conditions result in huge differences in subsequent actions. This is a triple pendulum and it displays mathematical chaos quite well. The spin of this pendulum is now unpredictable because tiny differences in how I started off result in huge differences in how it ultimately spins.